Welcome to the Madhouse Militia presents episode 90. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go. Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, and Dragomir for the Corndown at Corndown.com or FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Goldrust, Gordo, Dharma Wheelies, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Terbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666 Jesus, Painus, and Turbo, the high-level squirrel. If you wish to find out more about the show, you can visit patreon.com forward slash madhousemilitia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhousemilitia. You can find out more at our website at immoralhole.com as well as immoraljuice.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Just fine. Queens Valero, Jaden speaking. Hi, uh, yeah, we made a wrong turn back here. I'm back here by the, the pin machine. I can't find my way out. The pin machine? Yeah, I'm back here. It's all greasy. Thank you. By... The machine? Where are you? Th- You're by the pin machine? I'm in the machine. I crawled You're in, in the here. Yeah. I can't find my way out. Okay, give me one second. All right. Oh no, that's not gonna help me. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. Um, I have a problem with your with your gas. I got gas from you guys. Mhm. And then, like, wh- I, my car doesn't run white right now after I got the gas from you. What happened? Uh, where are you right now? I'm in my car. My car keeps stopping. My car keeps cutting off. So you're in the town? Yeah. And then when I start my car and I start to try to go, like, I, t- I turn the key and it turns on fine. It turns on nice. And then I hit the gas pedal and then it, and then it just it does that and then it stops. All right, let me call my manager. Okay, I need to report this. I'm going to give okay, you a Okay, but what's going to do what's that going to do about right now? What what matter? What's matter? Uh, I don't know. Never experienced it before. Yeah, see, I, I turn the car on and then I hit the gas. Yeah, I, and then it makes that sound. Hmm, I got it. All right, let me call my manager. Uh, and then I hit the call. gas again and it makes this sound again. All right. All right, sir. I'll give you a call, okay? And then guess and then guess what? I push really hard down and it starts doing this. All right. Okay, sir. I'll give you a call, okay? It does this a lot. I push real hard. I'm pushing. I'm trying to push the gas out. You got bad gas. <laughs> yeah, I got bad gas. That uh DTP. Hello? A friendless quality, how may I help you? Hi, yeah. What are the policies with regards to this flyer I found in my car? Sorry? I got this flyer here. Yeah, let's see. So the flyer here says, uh, New Year's party in the news. Where, sir? Where? Uh, It says for here, for this hotel. Are you calling to which hotel? Oh, your hotel. It says here. Let me see here. Uh, Can you please make sure the property? Yeah, glasses there. on here. Yeah, fifty-seven twenty-three. The qualities. Fifty-seven twenty-three. Which New York? Yeah, party? that's you. Sir, we we don't have any party, sir. 
Well, maybe it's someone staying there. Like, do you know everyone there? Like, which one's naked? Sorry? Who's the guest that's always naked? It's probably them. Because it says Naked New Year here. No, sir. No one is naked. Do like you have a flyer there? A copy of it? No, sir. How about I bring you a copy of the flyer and you and I can look at it? So, yeah, okay, okay. Can I'll you bring you this flyer here. here. Yeah, okay, well, I'll bring, okay, I'll bring okay, you a copy. Please bring. Yeah, okay, please bring. I'll bring it and then we can look at each other. Yeah, okay, right? sir. And then I can inspect you. Yeah, okay, sir. And you can inspect me and inspect. Yeah, okay, sir. Yeah. And I can look in your eyes and I can hold your hand. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay? Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, we'll hold hands and we'll inspect the, the flyer. Sir, if you have any problem, please come to... Like, are you guest? Or else are you oh, officer? No, no. Like, no, no, no. I want to be a guest. I want to be a guest of the yeah, party. Okay, yeah. yeah, I want to if go you to want the, cancel the New property. Year's. No, sir. In the you lobby. Can come here and, no, 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 sir. You can come here and you can check, sir. Please, like, if you have any shake. problem with the property. I, I can check. Motel 6, may I help you? Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, Hi. may I help you? Hi, yes. I made a nude reservation. I'm still waiting to hear back from the artist. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me when they'll arrive? Uh, I think you have the wrong number. No, no. I called earlier. I made a uh -huh. nude reservation. You made we're a what? still waiting for the artist to show up. That's a nude reservation. Okay. We don't do that here. You have the wrong number. This is Motel 6. Yes. Name am calling Stanley Stay America Jackson, North Darian Speaking. How may I help you? Hey, is, is that AA Ron? What? I'm not understanding what you're saying. A, a, you said your name was AA Ron? Darian. It's what now? Darian. Like the fruit? Oh, nah, ain't no fruit in me, partner. Okay, well, I mean, there could be if you play your cards right. Listen, I'm calling about this flyer that I found uh, about the, your guys' mm -hmm. lobby nude New Year party, and I want to mm -hmm. RSVP. You said you found a flyer? Yes, I was over at the uh, the Gay Fuck Club, and they're passing out flyers and said you guys had a nude party for the New Year's. In the lobby. Oh, Captain Lane, can I help you? Hey. Hello. So I need a room. Which one of your rooms is the is the uh, uh, like the most soundproof? Uh, cause like we made a lot of noise, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm be honest. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what what can I work with. Hold on. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you may want to try a different place. I got room pretty much everybody on all floors and these walls ain't exactly the thickest okay because i need to find a room because i want to take your mother and she's loud oh okay we got one of these tonight well yeah you can definitely try a different place then no no i want you because i want her to come down and tell you about it after we're done okay and where'd you meet my mother i met her on tinder Last time I checked, my mother's not on Tinder. <laughs> She's on Tinder. She swiped right at me three different times. She's aggressive. Yeah, okay, yeah. She's not on Tinder. <laughs> She's on t I'm telling you, she's on Tinder. Uh, what's her name? Her name is Keisha. Come on, man, what's her name? <laughs> hey, my mama's name. I said her name's Keisha. Her name's Keisha. I uh, know her name is not it, Keisha. Okay, what's her name? I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Don't worry about what my mother's name is, man. Hey, tell me. Hey, listen, I don't want to fuck a stranger. What's your mama's name? Uh, I'm sure you can find another woman you can go fuck. 
and I'm sure that'd be a strong. No, I, I like old. I like I like old women with aggressive sons who might want to fuck and you. I'm, and I'm sure you you can have uh, you can probably find one in here. Hey, come on, Don't fuck worry me. About mine. Come on, man. Fuck. Come, come on, man. Fuck me. I don't swing that way on. Come on, man. Fuck me. Come on. Fuck me. I don't swing in that direction. No, I don't like you swings either. I get motion sickness. I get I get motion sickness from swings. Come on. Another guy would do that. <laughs> no, come on. Come on, man. Fuck me. Nah, no thank you, man. I'm good. Come on. Come on, man. Please. Please. Just a little bit. Fuck me. Come on. Go, go, go find your woman who will handle that for you, man. No, I want you. You sound feminine. You sound like uh, you might do far, your nails. Far from it, homie. You probably manscape a little bit, a little metrosexual. Far, metro far from it, homie. Come on, I want to tickle your toes. Far from it. Come on, they're man. Plenty, I'm sure there are plenty, move, there are plenty hey, of women and, and guys who, who can, uh, who can, can handle that for you, Can homie. you move to the left? Can you move to the left just a little bit? Uh, For what reason? Because I want to get a better look at you. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you just come on up then? No, come on. Just move to the left a little bit. I'm trying to see something. Why don't you just come on through the door, man? No, no, no. I'm shy. Come on. Oh, oh you're shy now. You're shy? I'm, sh- I'm shy. I'm shy. Why? why I got a shy, shy dick. I got shy. I, I got shy dick. Oh, no wonder you have a problem finding somebody then. Yeah, don't don't mock me for it. Come on, man. Come on, I thought we were gonna be friends, man. Come on, man. Nah, we far from friends. Come on, man. Hey, man. Come, hey, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on through the front 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 door, homie. All right. When I come through, you pull down your pants so I know it's you. No, but I might kick you in, in your dick. How about that? I like that. Okay. Do I have to give you money to do that? Nah, I get it. Get that was free. Uh yeah. Then I then we can kiss. No. Why not? Why are you gonna try to turn me on and then not let me kiss you? Uh, cause I don't swing that it way. So- it sounds like you're gripping that phone really tight. I like a man with a good strength in his hand. He can squeeze me. I'm, I'm hard. I want I'm you. Man, I'm hard I want. To hold want this phone right now. I want you to take your hands and put them around my throat and squeeze. You know. You know what I want you to I do? Or- come through that until front. Until I orgasm. Right now, right now? Clear, clearly, you got nothing else better to do with your time, man. Never I don't. On the, I don't. On New Year's doesn't New Year's doesn't start till tomorrow. I was gonna, I was gonna fuck for New Year's, uh, but you won't give me a room. Uh, see now, see now, New Year's is not tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Uh huh. What? Uh huh. Right. Right. <clears throat> That's not even right. So you're wrong. Actually, New Year's Eve is Sunday. New Year's is Monday. It's Monday. New, but New Year's Eve is Sunday, God damn it. No, no, no. You no, you said new, you said New Year's was tomorrow. You didn't say New Year's ah, Eve. Ah, right? uh, and then you try <laughs> to say New Year's was Sunday and it's not New nah, Year's you, Sunday, son. No, nah, no, nah, but 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 the thing is you said New Year's was <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, just, so call me, just, were, call me, just call me just call me just call me just call me dad first time. Nah, just just nah, call man. me father already. No, thank you. I don't Come think on. You, I don't think you're father. Call me call me call me call me daddy. I don't think you're father material. Why not? Why would you say that? Because I don't think because most guys would not be fucking around on, on a business phone like this. Yeah, but I fuck on I'm a sure, phone I'm all sure, day. I'm, I'm sure. Day I'm, sure day. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure most guys have something better to do with their time. No, no, that's a lie. Don't you yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> oh. Seriously, nine twenty six and nine. You ain't got nothing else better to do with your time. No, I'm eating. I'm eating then, pork then and then drinking wine. I'm eating pork. I'm eating pork and hotel. drinking red wine right now in my car. I'm then looking at you. That, I'm then. eating pork and drinking red wine. Yeah. Okay. Sure you are. And if you don't then give me a call, room to fuck, call, it'll be your fault. Then go call another. Then go call another place. Then maybe they got room for you. You want me to drive to another place after I've been drinking red wine and eating pork? Fine. I was getting my like, like like drive off. Ah, but like you you won't problem. let me you won't let me stay. I'm just leaving now. Nope. Go right ahead.
Are you concerned now? No, I'm not. You should have been. I could have died right there. You weren't even concerned a little bit? Nope. I could have. I tried. But you're alive. (laughs) I know, I fucked up. right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Get off the road, man. you're, you're, you're You're a violent soul. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. Listen to you. Listen to you. You're just like, oh, good, good. You're finally dead. That's what you just said to me. Nah, I did not say that. I just said I was not concerned. You said you were like, no, you're like, fine. Why are you concerned? You were sounding like you were you were in pain, and then now all of a sudden, oh no, I'm fine. Uh, nah, nah, I'm, I'm fine I'm now. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad you're good. Yeah. Now move to the now, left. Looking out for you, my man. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. I, mean, I appreciate that. Now that? move to the left. Move to the left. To to the right. Oh, shit. I can't keep no straight face anymore, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, I guess right. I'll, let, I'll let you go back. Get back to your job. <laughs> Must oh, be nice man. having a job. Well... I wouldn't say nice, but it does help. Does it sound like you put your hand down your pants right there? Nah. You getting excited? Nah. No? Okay. All right, fine. But it was, but it was, well, but, I, I, uh, I guess, it was amusing. It was amusing. Okay, all right. I mean, I, I guess did, go ahead I and hang up the phone, then. I did. I did appreciate the laugh, man. I really did. No, all right. Well, that's all that counts. That's all. That, that's all that counts. <laughs> all right, then. I, I guess the only thing that's left is is for you just to just to go ahead and hang up that phone. I, I, I yeah, I'll hang up the phone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Man, you that take care though, man. <laughs> you, you too. All right. Bye. All right, all right bye. Now. Oh boy. Do when you get there. Hi? Hello? Sorry, didn't come forward. Oh, hi. My name is Benjamin. Benjamin Chode. How are you doing today? He's, a, he's working. Hello, thank you for calling Ramada. Hello, Ramada? Mm-hmm. Hey, I need help. Hmm? I'm in, I'm in my room. You know the ice machine? Where the ice machine is? You, you know, you know about it, right? The ice machine? Yes. I have... I brought it into my room because I needed a lot of ice and I was tired of walking back and forth. But now I need someone to come take it out of my room. Wait. Hello, thanks for calling my model. Hello, thanks for calling my model. Hello? Hello? Hi. I got a flyer out here. It was on my car windshield. Yeah, but what? There's a flyer here. The the Mm -hmm. flyer here, it says Naked New Year's. And it has the address of your hotel and your phone number on it. And it says RSVP by December 31st. And I'd like to RSVP... It says there will be uh, there will be a party in the lobby, 
No. Uh, hot dogs and beer and cream pies. Is this right? No. Well, who do I talk to about the naked New Year's? I don't Is know. Is it okay? Uh, can my wife come with me? Oh, uh, I don't know anything about that. Okay, I mean, I, I guess I'll just be there around, oh, 10 o'clock on the 31st. Now, do okay. we come naked or do we change when we're there? I don't know nothing about that. Well, can you find out? I can't. Why can't you find out? Because it's not going on here. But it is. I have I have it right here. It says it right I here. I don't know what to tell you. It, it, it says it right here. It says RSVP. Call front desk. So I'm calling you. Well, you put well, this out I'm, here on my car. I didn't put anything on your car. Well, I parked here. You parked where? Right here. By the I don't hotel. even know who this is. And they, they, it's all over. It's all over all the cars out here. It's not just mine. Like this one, this guy over here. Well, look at this. See? Well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It says the same thing on it. But well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, but you know, I, I just want to get naked. Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for calling Riverside Exxon. This is Nancy. May I help you? Hi, Nancy. There's a, there's a flyer here on the on the, the on the pump here, and it says "Naked Gas Party New Year's." It has your address. Okay, on. sounds good. We're going. Are you be there? <laughs> I'll be here. Who's this? Oh, this is Frankie. Okay. Yes, I yeah. work New Year's till till nine. You'll be naked. No, I won't. <laughs> you don't want to see all oh. this flab. Nobody wants to see it, all my flab. It says naked <laughs> gas party. Oh, I wish. <laughs> and it has pictures nope, of naked nope. people on it. Nope. Now, see, uh, last year we could have had a snowed-in party. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, nope. What about when we spray the gas on each other and light matches? Can we do that on, uh, at the party? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Nope, nope, oh, nope. Man. I'm a party pooper. All right. Well, happy New Year's, okay? Ha- happy New Year to you too. All right. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. You too. Bye. I love you. Not a dime. Just say this is Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Uh, I got a car here. It's got blue stuff coming out the exhaust. I I I filled up there a little while ago. It was running fine, but now it's making blue exhaust. Uh, I don't know what that means. Or I I think you know it said you know diesel on the side, but I put it on leaded. Uh, are you uh, sure? Because we got two now? handles. Who? Right, no, but diesel told me. No, Dizal. That's my friend. He said to put the gasoline in, but I think it's a diesel. Oh. And now it's got blue coming out. All right. Uh, do you know what to do right now? I don't know what to do. I've never. I, I had don't that know. That's happen. why I'm calling you. <laughs> I think. I probably have to, to we call it drain the the gas line and then put the the right gas in it. Hey, he said to take take it out. Put the hose in your mouth and suck. <laughs> All right, he's doing that. All right, yeah, that'd be the best bet. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of doing. But there ain't nobody else even here to to ask. Hey, take down your pants. Suck. He's doing that. Tastes terrible. <laughs> oh, that tastes horrible. Uh, He's don't drink it. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Is that all I can help you with, sir? It's horrible. I got customers what do I to go do there about right the blue now. stuff? I have no idea. You could call the the folks here in the morning at the YA because they're the ones that are mechanics and stuff. I don't know anything about that. He blew it. Things works if I suck it twice. <laughs> He's got a lot of blue stuff in his mouth right now. That's horrible. What the heck's in this? He told me this straw. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, I'll come back there. We'll, we'll give you the stuff we get out of there after he blows it. <laughs> okay. All right, you have a good night. You too, brother. All right. Happy New Year. <laughs> Fire girl, fill up. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, I was I was pumping some gas and I put it in the wrong hole and now the car's running real funny. I'm trying to okay. take an exit up here and it's running really rough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it here. What should I do? <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm not sure. Honestly, I just got here, so I'm not sure. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to turn around here. We're going to take this exit. Me and my big brother. Hold on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Gas smoke no, I'm trying to burn the body. That's that's the problem. It won't stay lit. Hello? Hello? Hey, yeah, I'm having some problems with the gas that I bought. Sorry? I'm having some problems with gas I bought. What do you mean? Like, it it won't stay, um, like, it won't go? Like, the it won't go all the way, you know? I don't think I do. Okay. Um, so my daughter has a St. Bernard. It's about 14 years old, and unfortunately it passed away. And um, she's at her mom's house right now, and I don't really want her to come home and see this. So I dug a little pit in our backyard, and I was trying to um, cremate the, the dog. And it just it keeps going out. Do you know what the flash point of the, the dice hole is? Mm-mm. I don't think I do. Because, like, I, I poured probably half the can, and it, it stays lit for a little while, but then it just goes out again. Um, I, I'm really not too sure what to tell you about that, sir, but... Um... Okay. Like, I... It, the thing is, like, I don't know if it's because of, of all the moisture, but, like, when it started getting really hot, like, there was this loud popping noise. Uh, you bro, know, like, it, have you ever, have you ever bro, microwaved we're about a hot to, dog uh, too long? We're, we're about to close. Well, no, no, no. Let me tell you what's going on. I, it, there, the popping noise, it, like, broke in two pieces. So now there's, like, the top half and the bottom half. Bro, and I'm really not trying to like hear crazy. about you burning a dog. Like, literally, that sounds so fucked up. No, no, it's dead. It's dead. I, I, I just don't want my daughter to come home and see this. There's two halves now, and there's, like, twice as much to get rid of. And I'm just trying to take care of this like a good dad, you know? I'm, my I dad really was never don't, around I when really, I was a kid. I'm trying to, do, I'm trying to, to be a good dad. I hear you, but I really don't have advice for that. I apologize, do, but you have a good rest of I, your night. What, what, what if I put it in the oven on the clean mode? I... Quick stop 14, this is Paul, how may I help you? Hi Paul, listen, I was up there a little while ago, I got a little bit of the lean, got it in the car there, driving along, driving along, it starts missing, starts sounding like a galloping horse. So we get out, and we find that there's there's metal coming out the back end of my car. What am I going to do? I think you guys are liable. 
how are we liable? Well, because it's a brand new car, and I just filled up, and as soon as I leave, you guys, it's just going boom, ba boom, ba boom, and then boom. And we get I out. I can give you cor- see it's I can give you corporate's number, but you're going to have to talk to them. Oh no, we don't deal with no corporates here. The, the well, corporate. Then, oh, I'm that's, sorry, that's I can't help you. Here. Oh, but it goes ba boom. Thank you for calling the King James Switch. Okay. Hi, is it all right if we cremate um, our our chickens' remains in the trash can? What is that, sir? Uh, we ate chicken for dinner. We were wondering if we could just, you know, cremate it so it goes back to uh, the cosmos as quickly as possible. What did you mean, sir? I'm not understanding what you're saying. Oh, we have chicken bones, and we want to return it to the cosmos. Sir, uh, you know, you can throw it in the trash, whatever you like to do, sir, but we, we, we don't have a place down here for it. Oh, well, can we wrap it up in, like, a bag and, and paper towels and put it in the microwave? You have a microwave? I don't remember yes. if we have a microwave in here. Okay, I'm gonna bring yeah, it. In. Gonna put it in the microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna you put can't it in the cook microwave. You can't the point where, where you can't cook it to the point where it'll smell over the hotel, sir. Oh, it won't smell. No, no. We'll make sure that it returns uh, back to its uh, back to its elements, an elemental form. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. You know, oxygen and and uh, carbon. And yeah, but nitrogen. I don't think the microwave would do that, sir. I think it does, because you ever put a bar of soap in there? But soap is different from the bones, sir. I don't know. It, it looks the same. But, like I said, you know, you can't do anything to damage your soap. microwave, because if you damage your microwave, you'll be charged for it. It's just going to smell like chicken for a little bit, I think. Okay, what room are you in, sir? Well, I'm right now I'm in the bathroom. I, I've been having trouble with my stomach ever since I ate the chicken. That's why I okay, want to send it in? back to where it came from. Oh, what I'm room in 215. But, you and know, what is your name? Oh, I don't know. This sounds like you're going to get me in trouble with somebody. I don't want to get in trouble. I just want to use a microwave for an online. Okay, so well, 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 I mean, you're not in 215. And what is your name? It's Johnson. Okay, and what room are you in? You know, AXL. So. Second, we want to make a black chicken. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 you mean black chicken. No, no, we already ate the chicken. Oh, we're going to share it with him. If he lets us use the microwave, we make a black chicken. Chicken. Thanks for calling the Days and Zoots. Hello, Days and Yes, it's dazing. Okay, I had a problem with the microwave. I, I'm pretty sure I got some I got some food and I was gonna put it in the microwave, but I used the wrong microwave. What's the room number? No, no, it's the wrong microwave. Got a room number. I already ate the food though. Okay, microwave, right? Yeah, it's the wrong one. Okay, so uh, what 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 can I do for you? What should I do? No, no. Uh, is your microwave is working or not? You are just reporting oh, that. I used, oh, I used the wrong one. I used the wrong one. Oh, you used the wrong one? What's the, what's the room number right now? No, no, I, I used the wrong microwave, not the wrong room number. No, no, I don't think you understand. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a microwave, sir. No worry. No worry about that. We have the microwave, okay? I I know I used the wrong one. You need to run one. No, the wrong, incorrect, the incorrect microwave. Oh, incorrect microwave. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay, I'll note it down. No worry about. It, okay. What should I do about it? No, nothing. You just uh, just leave it. Leave it. We can take care. Okay. Oh no, but I already ate the food though. Where, uh, so you calling from where? You know this is a hotel. The food's gone. The food's gone, man. 
Oh, food's gone. What can I do for you? So if I, it is a customer, I, then I can I help you. But if you. How do I switch it around? No, I'm not sure. I don't know. The different microwave. The microwave. No, I'm not. No. This call may be recorded or monitored for quality assurance purposes. Uh, thank you for calling reservation. This is Holton. How may I assist? Hey, uh, Holton. Um, I have a, a slight, uh, not an issue with my stay, because I already had stayed there, and it was fine and everything, but it was kind of like after, after, after the fact, I found out um, I had stayed at the wrong hotel. Uh, so just to confirm, you mm -hmm. said you booked a reservation and you actually stayed at the wrong hotel? Yeah, I, well, I stayed at this hotel uh, I, uh, two weeks ago or whatever it was, and uh, I stayed at this hotel instead of a different hotel. Okay. And now that, now I have like paperwork and a receipt and everything with this hotel's address on it instead of the other hotel. Okay. Is there any way we could, because um, I, I already left, like I'm already, I mean, I stayed, I paid, everything was fine, it was a good stay, but now I just need to get this receipt switched around. All right, so uh, pertaining to that, I would have to have it connected to someone directly at the front desk who may assist you with this. All They'll right. print it for me or what? How I'm do you, sure. who is this? Was, oh. I'm actually at the reservation center for Wyndham. Oh, so you don't. Like you don't print the receipts? No. So I'd have to have it connected to someone at the front desk to, to best assist you. All right. And they would be able to print me out a different receipt? Um, as I said, they would the be other, the, best. the other hotel. I'm not sure if they could do it, but they would be the best person to provide you with answers on that. My, and I'm not sure. What, what do you mean? I can't, why can't you print it then? I'm actually at the reservation site for, the, for Wyndham Hotels, so we booked the rooms for Wyndham Hotels. So basically, you stayed at the property, so they would be the one to actually try to have that receipt printed for you. We cannot do that on our end. We only booked the reservation. Oh, I know, but I stayed at the wrong hotel. I stayed at the wrong hotel. I think I put it into my phone wrong, and then I ended up here instead of the other hotel. And now, and now the receipt it doesn't match. Like it, it's the wrong address and everything on it. Okay, I do, I do understand what you're saying, but on my end, we cannot. I cannot do anything here on my end. Switch it like, like switch it around. Like, I just need you to like. Would you um? Would you be able to sign it then and like just to I, say I, that like? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm trying the, to fix it. That's what I'm saying. And the you first can set, you can sign it. Well, you come to the front desk then, right? I'm not at the front desk. I'm not at the location. I'm at a, a central reservation site for Wyndham. Oh, then you would go to the other hotel and I would meet you there, or no, I won't be. How do we do this? To... All right. So basically, you said you stayed at this hotel. That would be the super A. Yeah, I did. It, it was a good stay. Yeah, yeah, it was a good stay. I didn't have any problems, but I did stay. This was I didn't intend to. Sir. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. I just found. I don't know. It was all quiet and. I thought maybe something happened to the phone line, um, or I don't know if you're transferring me, or I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. On my end, I'm unable to do, assist you with that. On my end, I would have to have you connected to someone at the property to see if they could assist you with that. But on my end, I can assist send it, you with that. You just put just pull it up on your screen now, but you would just send it to the receipt printer, like on a. Can you I just do not have pull it up on your to, screen? I do not have access, access to a receipt printer. That's what I'm saying. I would have to have you connected to the property to assist you with that. Well, you just bring it up on your screen, and you should be able to select it in your. There's a printer. I, I got work. I got a thing at work where I can I, I can pick a different printer. You just pick it on the list. Okay. Where where do, can you? I don't know. Where should I go to get it? Do I have to come back to that hotel? Uh, honestly, sir, I don't know. I mean, that's that was like. Way far away, and two weeks ago, I don't like. Do I have to go back all the way there for a different receipt? That's I was really hoping saying. you could email it. That's what I'm Even if you didn't you, print sir. it, I, mean, I can print it here. I could print it. I have a printer. Okay. What if I shared? 
What if I shared it through, if I like, all right, I can, um, it's got Bluetooth. I can Bluetooth it to my phone. Can you see it then? Like, can you print it? No. Just print it to my it. printer. Sir, you just send it to I'm my saying? printer. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Well, if I'll just Bluetooth it to my phone, and then you can, like, Sir, look at the call information. Do you understand what I'm He's saying to up. you? No, just pull. I know what you're saying, but you're just not pulling up. I, why I can't you pull up in the computer? Just click it. You That's what I'm telling you. Just click on it. Okay. You know, like in Microsoft, you can go on there and you can click it, and then you can type in it. You can type stuff on it. Okay. Yeah, send it over. Did it work? Uh, uh, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. My system will uh, allow me to do that, but that's what I'm trying to explain no, to you. No, it's connected. Okay. Uh, well, oh, wait, hang on. I got, let me try again. If you, if you say let me connected, try again. Sir, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you got to send it to me. I'm Bluetoothing it right now. I don't. You're not hearing me. You're not understanding what I'm saying, sir. I do not have the right, capability on it, my... I'm going to reconnect it again. Okay. All right, it says It says connected. You should be able to see it now. Okay. Can you hit print? Let's go ahead and try one. Try sending a blank one. No, I don't have, have capability for doing that, sir. We'll just try sending a blank one. I do not have that just to, to send, see if it's sir. Gonna, do you pull it up on the, like with your, um, you click on it with the mouse. Hello? Do you have, is it like an Excel? Is it like a spreadsheet? I know how spreadsheets work. But you click on it and you gotta click print and you select your printer and then you can click print and it'll, it'll, it'll send. It'll send. Hello? Are you yeah, trying it? What's, what's happening? I cannot try it here on my system, sir. That's what I'm saying to you, but you're not listening to me. So I cannot assist well, you, you didn't on try my it. end. My system won't Why allow me to... It? Sir, I would have to have you connected to the customer care department who can best assist you. I'm unable to assist you here on my end. Is that like with Bluetooth? I'll connect it to wherever you want me to connect it to. You just not... I, I had it connected to my phone. You should be able to see it. Like you're on the phone with me. Welcome to Wyndham Rewards Visa Card Customer oh, Service. Hey, hang up. Para continuar. Thank you for calling Extended Stay America Ridgeland. My name is Christopher. How may I help you? Hi. Hey, Christopher. Listen, uh, I stayed here, but it turns out I was sched I was supposed to go to the other one. Come up. I got again. the key. Yeah, I made a reservation for another hotel. But when I got there, you guys gave me a key. And so I stayed with you guys. But I'm looking at my itinerary here, and it looks like I was supposed to go like somewhere else. I don't, I'm really I don't, confused. I'm a little worried. I'm, I'm confused, too. I don't know. Okay, okay, you're going to have to slow down. Who is this? This is Frankie Johnson. I was there a couple days back. But I wasn't I wasn't supposed to be there, so I don't know if I'm even in your system. I was supposed to be somewhere else. The the hotel I was supposed to go to, they they told me your address, not there. And but you guys gave me a key, so I stayed oh, there. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, what days were you here? Well, that's the thing. So I wasn't scheduled to be at your hotel. Yeah, and, yeah, but oh, you're you're. Con the thing is, you're confusing me. What days were you here? Oh, I was there uh, the last two days. I I, I've, not, I've, I've not been here for the last two days, sir. I've been, me personally, I've, I've been off the last two days. Okay, well, yeah, but they gave me, I guess it wasn't you, but they gave me the key, they gave me the room information, but, like, I, I, I don't know how they had, like, why I was allowed... I walked in, and I said, oh, I'm supposed to be here, you know. And I said, oh, right, we got all, all the stuff here for you. But it turns out I wasn't even supposed to stay there. 
Sir, look, look, I'll be honest with you, sir. Uh, this sounds like an issue that you should have called in the morning for because I don't know anything you're talking well, about. I just woke I, up. I was in a food, uh, a food related situation. I had a medical situation. All uh, right. Okay. So uh, it's okay. been a couple uh, days. I had some issues, it, you know. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I just I got back from the hospital. But, yeah, yeah, I, no, know, okay. It's I, been I, a hell I of a week, you know. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah, to have no. the food taken from inside me out of the down there. Uh, okay, it wasn't yeah, yeah. Fun. But, but, but I understand that, 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 that. I'm sorry for what happened to you. But again, it, it's yeah. sounding like this is something that you should probably be talking with somebody in the morning or who's the manager or something because we, here's some things that don't make sense. Um, yeah. What? Then you stayed here for I two days and they gave yeah, you. Yeah, I was a there. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay. So that, I was that's peering in people's windows because I'm known as the window peerer. Like, I'm not even supposed to be there. And I was 86 from there like five years ago. So I found it really weird when I walked in and they were just, you know, glowing smiles, happy to see me. It was really weird. Sir, how old are you? I'm too old for this. I'm just too old for this shit. You know? Hello? Yes, this is Days In. Excuse me? This is Days In. Who are you? I'm returning a phone call that just called This is Days In Hotel. What? Hmm... I just I'm returning a phone call, but maybe there was some kind of error, I suppose. Ha ha. Is that hotel? Did I call the wrong number, Miss? Oh really? Because I can tell you right now, my husband. Okay. All right. Well, peace. That's Colin Stabridge to Flowood. This is Ricky. How can I help you? Ricky, I have a quick question for you. I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, what's the question? I can hear you now. I just want to know how big of a ball sack you have. Thank you, Colin Hampton Ian. This is Anthony. How can I help you? Hello? Hi. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hello? Uh, I got this. I got this. Uh, yeah. There's this this flyer I found in my car, and it says New Year's nude party, hotel lobby, and it has your address and a picture of the hotel. So I, I verify that it's the right place. I just wanted to RSVP that yes, I am interested. Uh, who do I talk to about that? Uh, we're not doing a a party. Well, I have it right here. It's, it's a, it has a picture of the hotel, and it says New Year's Nude Party. And then it says Bring Your Family, which is why I wanted to ask you if it was real or not. No, it's not. Okay, you don't know anything about this? No, sir, we don't. No. Okay, because my, my kids were interested, but I said, no, it says nude. Right. We That's can't a little weird. kids, Dad? No. Uh. You're 37. No. You're never ready for that. Now take this off. Sir, there's not going to be any tits? No, it's not. But there's a nude party, and it says on the flyer, it says it says that there's a party at your guys' hotel. It was on my dad's car. <coughs> um, What hotel is it? The Sagandi Hotel? No, it's, this is the Hampton Inn. You've never heard of the Sagandi Hotel? No, I have not. You've never heard of Sagandi's nuts? Ah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> ah. Got your ass, bro. Got your ass. <laughs> damn, son. Damn, son. Damn. You like big tits, bro? Huh? 
You like big tits or are you an ass guy? Um, both. I'm I'm more of an ass man myself. I like the eyes and a big fat ass, you know. Okay. Yeah. I I want some I want to if I were to unalive myself, I would want like a a woman to sit on my face until I couldn't breathe anymore. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. You ever had a a woman sit on your face? Um no sir, I have not. Why not? Are you gay? Yes, sir, I am. Are you really? That's cool. Are you a top or a bottom? Versatile. Oh, wow, that's awesome. My friend uh, Wasted, he's a big gay, too. Um, I'm going to see if he's right here. Wasted! He's he's a power bottom. Wasted! <laughs> He wants to talk to you. Let me go get my other friend. Okay, well I have to go. His right name now, is Milkman. I... He'll he'll milk. His his name is what? Milkman. Milkman. Hey, what's up, baby? Hello? That's Milkman. He'll talk to you, dude. Talk to Milkman. He's a legend right here. Oh, okay. Hello? Yeah. Hi. Who's Hi. this? This is Milky. Oh, well, that's nice. This is Milky. Yes. I'm famous. I make much butt milk. What's your name, baby? I don't have a name. You don't have a name. That's all right. We'll keep it anonymous. Well, this here's Milky. She likes the big banana. I got a big booming banana, sweetie. Let's shake it up. Milkman has a nice big round bubble butt for you. Yeah. Okay. He can twerk. He's part of the uh, drag. um, He was part of the drag community in the late 90s, early 2000s in Castro District in San Francisco. He was one of the the very first uh, people that would do the drag shit. Pull up my skirt and I like to twerk. Pull up my skirt and I like to twerk. And I have a great... Back in San Francisco, they used to have these these, uh, little rooms where you can go in and watch a dude masturbate. And everyone else would have like it outside a window. And you would pay to go in there and just watch uh, Milkman. Huh? They still have those. My backside. Do all the work. Oh, they still have them? Do you know where? I don't know where. In New Orleans somewhere, but we don't have no one here. Yeah, New Orleans is pretty crazy, though. I remember I went out there for uh, Mardi Gras and some chick showed me her tits because I gave her some uh, necklace, a pearl necklace. Oh, you gotta make it twerk. Shake it backside in your face. What do you think, Milkman makes does this trick where he puts a um, a funnel up his butt and then he holds it in there, milk, and then he turns around and farts really hard and milk squirts out and he calls it butt milk. And you gotta wear um, like a poncho at a show. I like to squirt with my butt milk. You gotta wear a poncho and like a little hat at a show, otherwise you're like you're 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 like your your uh, what you're wearing will get dirty. Yeah, he does this crazy thing when he comes out. He was like, here's the milk. Here's the milk. And the DJ goes crazy. And then he runs from inside the crowd. Like, he comes from the entrance of the crowd. And he has two uh, two gallon uh, milks in his hand. And he just smashes them together in front of everybody. Just bah, hard as fuck. And everyone's like, oh, shit. And then, and then he hops on stage and he starts twerking his big, fat, round Baby, bubble butt. Come and on down he'll let you like smack on my face. I like to fart and blow up the place. Well, I have to go right now. Yeah, I have a um, guest in front of me right now, so I will talk to y'all later. Hey, baby. Okay. I love you. All right, bro. All right. Have a good one. sweetie. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, baby. Happy New Year, baby. All right. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hi, I see you. Do you guys have butt milk? 
Who? Hello? We see you. We see you, huh? We, we, we see you. You see who? You. I okay. Her. I see her. You see who? You see her, bro? Yeah, I see her. Wow, she's beautiful. We see you. Wow. Okay. Look at those. My friend thinks you're beautiful. What are those things? Those are... Holiday Inn. How can I help you? You you got a badonka dunk. Yeah, your mama got one, too. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus, downtown Jackson. It's when that's speaking, how I help you? Hi. Hi. Do you have you chairs, have chairs and, beds and beds that'll fit, fit a nice square, square spongy, spongy ass? ass? I got the SpongeBob ass. Oh. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus, downtown Jackson. It's when that's speaking, how I help you? Why'd you hang up with Why'd my boy with square ass? ass? You discriminating. You discriminating. Can you call somebody else's phone to play on? Hello, Super Eight Monroe. How can I help you? Hi. 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 Hey, I, I was outside. I parked my car here. I came back from dinner, and I got this uh-huh. flyer under the windshield wiper. <clears throat> it says here, nude New Year's party in the lobby. All welcome. And it has no. your phone number here, and it has a picture of the hotel and the address. And it says to call an RSVP. What? Yeah. And it says family's welcome, but I'm concerned about it because it says nude up there. What? What's up? What's going on here? Sir, whatever that is, it's, it's <coughs> a joke. So someone, someone made a joke, okay? Nothing's going on here. But it's printed on high quality paper. It's like it's not a it's not photocopies. These are printed. These are really, you know, nice. It's glossy paper. It's very thick. Like it looks real. I mean, it even has like the emblem for the hotel and it says, you know, call the front desk to RSVP. Okay, so whoever right did away. whoever did it, that's a joke. Okay, so please, uh, so, so stop. I don't it. think Just someone don't would spend this much it, okay? money. Nothing's I don't think people would here. spend this much money on a on a you know a fake though. That's why I'm calling. So I thought it really strange. It's it's such a really high quality printout. You know, it looks like someone paid a lot of money for this. Hello, thank you for calling Days in. How may I help you? Hi, Days in. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I've been trying to find your number for the last half hour. I was walking by earlier, and this guy handed me this flyer. And it says that there's a hotel uh, party on New Year's. No, sir. There's no hotel party here. Okay, is it one of the guests, maybe? I don't think so. There's no hotel party in in our place. Okay, because it has a picture of the hotel and a phone number, and it was this number. And it says RSVP at front desk. No, sir. It, it, it there's says no party. It says it right here. here on the paper. That's all right, sir. We don't have any party. It says it right here on the paper. Okay. It says it on the paper. Hello? It says it on the paper. Hello? Paper. It says it on the paper. Hello? Yeah, party in the lobby. New New Year's party. RSVP and has your phone number and address and a picture of the hotel. So I'm calling the RSVP. Yes, I'm interested. We don't have any party here, sir. Can we? You have wrong uh, information. Can we arrive there naked? Yes, you can arrive right now. You'll find me there. Oh, you want us naked right now? Yeah, yeah. All right, he said to take off your clothes and walk on in. All right. We'll be right there. Okay. You weirdo. I'm gonna go. I'll be ready to beat your ass. Thank you for calling, Kintan. Hey, uh, this is the front desk. Yes, it is. Yeah, I just wanted to know. You guys don't have any policies against making soup in the sink? Huh? And using the, the like the bathroom to cook food. 
There's nothing against cooking food in my room, is there? Um, I, I don't, I don't think so. Nobody's ever asked that question I'm just before. Doing a, yeah, I'm just making a quick chowder in the sink, and I just want to make sure I wasn't going to be like violating any laws or rules. I mean, I guess you can do whatever you need to do. Cool. Right, I've in? got some steak. Well, see, see the way you say it like that. Now I feel like I'm in trouble. No, it's just I've that. never I've never been asked that question before. So I was I'm I'm just kind of hey, you man, know, man, 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 man. Where else am I supposed to make soup? Have a good night. Can I use the kitchen? Huh? So can I use the kitchen? Uh, we don't have a stove. We have an oven. Yeah. What size shoes do you wear? <laughs> Actually. Hey man, you say you're gonna beat my ass? I know, I know the only way you're gonna beat in my ass is like this. You're gonna beat my ass like this. Oh, I know you wanna beat it, man. I know you wanna beat in my ass like that. You fucking want to do it, man. Oh, fuck. Right place, because... Dave's in the low. Hi. Uh, we got this flyer on our car. Uh, it says, Nude New Year's. It has your hotel name and number here. I verified it through the Googles. I just want to know, uh, who do I talk to about the RSVP? What is RCP? Oh, uh, to uh, make reservations, like saying, oh, yes, I'm coming to your nude party. <clears throat> oh, okay. You want to stay at that hotel? Uh, okay, that's fine. No I want to be naked that. in the lobby with uh, all the people going to this party. That's what it okay, says, no naked problem. party, party. Naked party. Oh, yeah, you're welcome to join. No worries. That's oh, it. okay, good. Okay. Yes. What do we want? It says it's a, a potluck. What should I yes, bring? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Okay, what do you want to eat? I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring the ribs. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Anything I can eat. Okay. All right. So, okay. will you be there? Sorry. Will you be there? Yes, I'm. Will be, I will be here myself. No problem. Okay, you turn are, around. Are you and going we'll naked that, too, or? Yeah, I'm gonna get naked, and then you will turn around. I'll put you back at the every time. We will do it everything. Don't worry, I'll get you. Oh, okay. Then you turn around, and I get you from the bubble butt. No, no. You turn around. I'll put you from the back. Okay. No, yeah. no, no. I put you from the front and look you in the eye and go. Mm. Hey, yeah, you can do it with your mother and everybody. Okay, son of a bitch. No, your sister. Your sister right here, here and right. I kissed her in the bathroom. Thank you for calling Lowe's Travel Stop, store 673 Domino, Texas. This is Misty. How can I help you? Hey, I'm spending the night out here, so I was wondering if it's all right to have a little fire. Yeah, no. Do a little bonfire? No. How? Just a no. little one. We're, we're not keep it away from the pumps. No. No, right, but thank you. What if we already started? <laughs> Dow Villa, this is Billy. I'm going to help you. Baby well, Billy, how are you doing yes. today? Hi there. Well, yum. I'm doing well. Ooh. He sounds well, doesn't he? Yes, he, he sounds like he's just the one. We are having a party in the room, and my boyfriend wanted to talk to you. I want to oh, sex your butt. He sounds like he's about a size six. Can Jeez. you come to the room so my boyfriend can watch you? Oh, I'm busy working at the moment, so unfortunately, no. What time's your break, baby?
want to sex his butt. Ghost towns and mines. Thanks for calling Quality and Lone Pine. This is Pam. How can I help you? <laughs> Quality and Lone Pine. This is Pam. How can I help you? Going to fucking me. Uh, I... Hi, ma'am. I'm straight and I'm experiencing the inside of a man for the first time and he won't hold still. I don't know what to He's tell you. He's going too fast. He's going too fast. Tell him He's to going... slow down, baby. I'm experiencing the inside of a man for the first time. Fine, Bridgerton. Hello? Hey, hello? Hi. Long time, Bridgerton. Hi, I'm I'm a gay man and I'm up here uh, touching men with my right hand, and I want to come down and shake you. I want to shake you by the by the back of your neck and say mm, mm, and then kiss you. You booking bu- here? Is it you no? Know, I stay here. Yes. Is this okay? What is your name? My name is Ben B E N. Last name is spelled C H O D. Ben Chod. Hello. Don't hang up. Don't yeah. do it, motherfucker. Yeah. Hi. Good. You're still there. Okay. So, did we get this resolved? What happened? Where what is my room? What name you tell me? Hello? I want my room. Yeah, I'm in my room. No. You booking here? Yeah, I Magician. stay here. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Uh, 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 I'm there. I'm there. Yes. I don't understand. Why do you not talk to me? What's the matter? Uh, you right now uh, mountaining? Yeah, I want to mount you. I want to mount you and go in. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay. No problem. I got I got a man I got a man right here and he's tickling the back of my knee and I'm touching his toes. I uh, man not here but uh, lady there. Oh. He's right here. See look, look, he's here, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm tickling I'm tickling his feet. Okay. <laughs> He likes it. He, he, li- he likes it. Oh, he just made. Oh, he just. He, just, oh, he pooped on the carpet. Hello. Hi, this is Nacho with Lake Colancha. I missed your call. Excuse me. Uh, you just dialed my phone, and uh, I'm an RV park. Who are you? Uh, apparently, you have the wrong number. I'm sorry. This is also Hello. something. Next. Hello? Timberlane Motor, how can I help you? Hi, how are you doing tonight, honey? Good. How's about you? Okay. I'm alright. Can't really complain, you know. Uh, my family's here in the car with me. They've been driving me insane, you know. We were just wondering oh. if you got room for four of us tonight. Okay, <laughs> how, how many rooms do you need? Uh, one room would be fine oh. if you have two beds. Okay. Now, uh, which day? Uh, today. Okay. Uh, and can we push the beds together? Uh, sorry? Can we push the beds together? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Cat, stop touching your Are brother. Are you coming Ooh. now? Uh, it sounds like someone is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me put them on the phone. Here, take the phone. I can't. I can't drive. And Hello. Talk. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um. Oh, I'm really big right now. Okay. You need room? Yeah. You sound. Yeah, we want. But you sound very pretty. Can you come hang out at the room too? Room two. Yeah, come to room two, because you're very pretty when you look at you. No, I didn't come. Please. 
I didn't do it right. Uh, she, so she didn't come. See, I told I'll you, you're, you not, you're not good. You're not good. I can help you come. Why? You need anything? We just need you to come, like lay on the bed and come hard, as hard as you can. He needs to borrow your insides for pleasure. No. Sorry. Yeah. Why not? No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 I said no. Maybe? Yes. Please. God. Do it. Do it. Just move Just. your. F- <laughs> We're back. Hola, motel. Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? <laughs> it's in the room, sir? Yeah, I'm in my room, and there's stink bugs in here. Sorry, what was that? There's stink bugs in my room. Stink? Well, can you repeat that, sorry? Stink bugs, like little bugs. They look like uh, ladybugs, but they're not ladybugs, and they stink. Que hay muchos como um, insectos, no sé qué, que se ven como ladybugs, pero no son ladybugs, digo, apestan. Yeah, yeah, and they fa- they keep farting in my room. The, the sí, stink sí, bugs keep pedos, farting. Dice. Make a Which nasty room are smell. You in? They fart in my room. Room four. Cuatro. Okay, okay, we'll go over there. Right like cilantro. Yeah, it smells like cilantro farts in here. Okay, we'll go right now. It smells like cilantro con uh, cumanos and a bunch of pimienta. Okay, uh, we'll go carne right asada. I would, it might actually Can just be the chipotle we had. Oh. <laughs> so, Pipe Wells Village, this is Chris. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. Are you an ass man or a dick guy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> may I ask who's calling? Um, well, we just we're in the room and we just need you to tell us because I I have a bet going on. Okay. So yeah, which one do you prefer? So, Long Street and in Casino, this is Shannon. Hello. Hi. Um, have you have you seen t- the movie Twilight? She's playing a song from Twilight. Yeah. Is that the one with Guillermo in it? Twilight? Clap your butt Milkman Dick is not so big, it's really small. He has little balls. Why is it Milkman here ruining shows? Shake that banner. Name oh, there he is, big, yeah. Big Got a big, big banner. Goes nowhere, you know what I mean? Operator, how can I help you? Hello? Uh, 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 you bitch, he's fucking me. I am not. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Oasis. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I didn't come inside of him yet, uh, but he had a question. Here, let me hand him the phone. Hey, you bitch! <laughs> Good evening, Spring. Yes, uh, I have a quick question for your ass. How you doing? I may help you. I have a quick question for you. Okay. You say me and my friend, we're in the room, and we have a, a little bet going on, and we just wanted to know how you felt one way or the other about a certain topic. All right. Are you an ass man or are you a tits guy? <laughs> man, you have a good night, all right? 
Just answer the you question, did. man. We just need you to no, answer the I question. Don't, I know. Uh, so you have a good night. Are you one of those feet people? I'm a belly guy. Thank you for calling. I remember Carlito sent me. Hello? Excuse me? Sorry, I interrupted. Hello? I was talking before you answered the phone, so talk to my boyfriend. Uh, this is the Comfort Inn of Suites in Blavarca, so how can I help? Yeah, hi. Uh, we're looking to get some comfort. Okay. Hello? Oh, okay. Thank you for calling Quality Inn. Hello. Thank you for calling Quality Hello. Inn. This is Bree. Hi. 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 How are you doing tonight? I'm great. How are you? I'm okay. Um, so we have a little... I, well, I came back from the bar, and my car has this flyer on it. And it says, New Year's Nude Party. It has a picture of the, the hotel, your phone number and address, and it says RSVP now. So, it also says bring your family. I'm a little concerned about that. Are you running this? Uh I don't. I'm unaware of what that flyer could be, sir. It says nude. Like it says nude, nude, nude. It has pictures oh, of wow. dogs no, and cats on it, is. though. No, I don't know what and that it is. It says to call call front desk and RSVP. So I guess that's you. Hello. Oh, okay. I'll throw it away then. That's the hard. Royal Inn. How may I help you? Hi, yeah, there's a hard part in the room. Like, I was walking over the carpet, and I felt this really hard part underneath. And I don't think it was there earlier. I'm not sure if maybe someone came in here. Well, it's between the bathroom and, like, the main room portion. It's just a really what hard room number? You know, spot. What room number? I'm a little scared, though, because what if someone came in here and did this? And if I give you the room, I don't know that you're really the person up front. Like you might not well, be Well, since right you person, called the office, you, you know it is, but Well, I don't know. I re- you never I don't know you, like your name. I don't know what you look like. Like I can, maybe I can go out and I can look through the window and we can establish that we're the same people. And then I I know I can trust you. I can tell you what the room number is. Hello? Royal Inn Motel, how may I help you? Hi, um, did my friend give you the room? Hello, what please? Room? What room number? The room. The, the room. Did he give you the room number? Because he's the one in charge of the room number. I'm in charge of the phone calls. Well, since you don't have the room number, there's nothing I can do to help you. But have a great okay, night. Okay, listen. He no, listen. He has the room numbers. Where can I find it? Because he's trying to keep it under lock and key, so I don't know where I'm at. All you have to do is walk outside and look for, on the door. The numbers okay, are on outside, the door. Hang on, let me look. Uh, there's nothing outside the bathroom door. Not the bathroom door. The door to the room to the outside. Oh, oh, out to, to the hallway? Well, you're obviously not calling the ride hotel because I don't have a hallway. But have a lovely night. Well, it's the walkway to the room, you fucking hussy. Thanks for calling Country and Suits Calm. This is Katie. How may I assist you? Hi, my wife's monitoring the phone call. She's on here with us. She doesn't want Sorry? me talking. Yeah, my wife, she's on the phone with us. Crispy. She doesn't want me talking to any other women on the phone. Is there a man over there? Unfortunately, there isn't. I'm sorry. Oh, oh boy. Well, I, I guess that means I'm going to have to cheat on her then. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, which room? Well, you have a room specifically for cheating women? Um, Maybe I'm, I'm the sorry, one that I'm has like a curtain. The one that has a curtain over the door? Um, we don't have any rooms with curtains over the door, no. Oh. 
Okay. Maybe the one that has the kitchen? Um, I'm not sure if we have any of those available right now. Because women like to cook, you know. Mm. They like to dance. But they don't like me. Who are you talking to? No one. I have to go. I don't know Excuse who this me, is. Excuse me, ma'am. Why, why are you flirting with my man? Um, I'm sorry. This is a hotel, Country and Suites. Yeah. Why Why are you flirting with him? I am definitely not. Is there anything else I can do for you? He, he just He just got through explaining to you that he he's not allowed to flirt with other women, and you're flirting with him. I am most definitely not, ma'am. I don't appreciate you flirting with him. All right. You have a nice day. Clear you wanted to. Chew, honey bunch, and honey baby. You may kiss. Oh behind. my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! This is just the way I dreamed it would be. Hello. I fucking love you so much, baby. Well, this is fun. Hello. Yes. Hello. Fulton House bed and breakfast. Um, is it okay if I fuck you hard? Yeah, why not? You would like that, wouldn't you? Of course. Are you doing it again, Guillermo? Yes, I'm doing sure. him again. Yeah, why not? Talk to my boyfriend, Dwight. He'll set you straight. Are you, are you, is no, he, he won't. catfishing you again? Is he trying to fuck you? Of course he is, and I love it. No, no, he can't fuck you because he's a fucking me. No, he can do both. No, he can't. Yes, he can. No, uh, because he has only enough sex grease for one of us. No, 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 both of us. Come on. No. Yeah. Why stop there? Why don't I fuck Crispy too? That's exactly. Come on. No. Why are you Why are you talking like you're homo to another guy? Because Because I love homos. I was I was talking to my um I was talking to my husband. Okay. Well, he loves homos Shout too. Out to who are, who are you? I, I'm his homo boy. Are you top or bottom? Oh boy. I'm both, baby. But only for him, not you. Yeah, so shut up, Crispy. Yeah, shut your fucking Bye. mouth. Hey. Hello. I just want a hello? logic plaint. Uh-huh. Hello. Yes. How can I help? Um, we all went the we all went to the RV with the pineapple sign outside of it, and I don't I did not like what I saw when I went inside. Okay, so how can I help you? You're calling somebody who has nothing to do with us. You're the RV guy, numb nuts. Dipshit, I own an RV park, but there's four other fucking RV parks where you're at, you idiot. So figure it out. Who the Thank fuck you. are you talking nice. to, dumbass? You can't even imagine an You're RV park, you don't know bitch. what's going on? Are you that fucking cool? Uh, yeah, hi. I'm calling about some fluids that are leaking around by my RV. Uh, clearly, it's not coming from mine. I just climbed underneath and took a look. Uh, I, I believe it's the people next door, uh, but there's a lot of blue fluid here. Uh, we we might want to get this checked out. I'm just saying. Uh, maybe you guys need to do a little more maintenance around here. Maybe uh, check into the status of people's RVs before they pull them in because this could end up damaging some of our stuff. I appreciate your help. Thank you.